Hello, my name is Rob Lewinsky with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Philadelphia District. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about the 100-year flood misnomer. What is a 100-year flood? Well, it's a label. It's an inaccurate label, really, if you think about it. By its label, you would think it is a flood that you would get one every 100 years. That's not true. It could be a flood you could get several times over a span of 100 years. You could get it back-to-back -back years, for example. It is a better term to use for it is a 1% flood. Basically, you have a 1% chance of getting a flood of that magnitude in any given year or being exceeded by that. Another term that we sometimes call it is a 1% annual chance of exceedance. Again, it is, you could have them in multiple years back to back as we've seen in some locations on the Delaware. It varies by location as you go up and down a tributary or a river like the Delaware River, one location to the next it will vary by, um, by that. It also basically is a long-term average. Uh, that's where the 100 years comes from. Uh, as an example, let's show I have a bar graph here. A 100-year flood, let's say, is denoted by this dashed line here. As I said, you could have a 100-year flood in successive years. You could have them spaced out over decades or centuries. So that's it in a nutshell of what a 100-year flood is. Again, it's a better chance of label calling it a 1% flood or 1% annual chance of exceedance. Thank you.